Callahan, Dr. Filefinder. Welcome back to part four of our special Butterscotch.com 10 part series on Evernote. Now in this segment I'm going to look at attributes. Now each time you create a note in Evernote certain basic attributes are created. So with Evernote open click on any note that you have and go up here and click attributes. Now you can see that in here it shows the title, which I can revise if I wanted to. It shows me which notebook it's in. If I wanted to put an author, I could put an author name there. Here's another place where you can add to tags. So that if there's more things that you think you should have put in that you didn't. Because sometimes you make notes on the fly. So this is a good place where you can go in and firm up your tags, making your tag more complete. Here's a clipped from segment where you can put the URL to the site where you possibly got the information. You see here we have the creation date which opens up to a calendar so you can change the creation date. Say for example I wanted a whole series of notes all to have started on the same date to help make them easier to find. So even though they weren't all created on the same date, I could go in and artificially change their creation date to make them all February 1st. I can also change the time. I can change the subject date. And if I want, I can put in latitude and longitude and altitude. I think right here I'm about uh, 800 feet. And here you see the checkbox says change modification date automatically on safe. So then I say OK. So those are how attributes can be used in Evernote. And that concludes part four.